Welcome to the Straight Razor Edge Friday Special. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's Straight Razor Edge Friday Special, the best Arco and Derby Shave Soap Review. Jody asked, make a how-to bloom and lather Derby and Arco for beginners. So we're going to do it. All right. Now, as you see, I've got Derby on this side. I have got Arco on this side. And they have been blooming with hot water for at least five minutes. And... I soak my brush in here. I'm going to start with the Derby because it's a milder scent. All right. And uh, as far as that goes, Derby is very hard. It is a really hard tallow base soap. It has a nice uh, lemony kind of citrusy scent which is really good, but it is hard. So I cut off a quarter inch thick uh, slab of each one of these, pr pressed them in the bowl, okay? Now the, the Derby was much harder to press in because it is really hard. The Arco, on the other hand, is not as hard, and um, you could actually just put a dent in it right there like that. And again, I put a quarter inch piece of this in that bowl, pressed it down. This one was easy to press down. Now this one is still citrusy, but this one has more of a uh, industrial soap kind of smell. So a lot of people don't necessarily like it. All right. But like I say, we're going to start first with the Derby. And we're going to go ahead and lather that up and kick up a decent lather and show you how I do it. Now, here it is blooming, okay? And you can see that there's water in there. And it's got some soap in it as well. So I just pour that off, okay? And then I would rub that in my hands and put that on. Now, normally I would be getting out of the shower and that beard would already be prepped. But you can do this straight up just with the bloom water if you uh, need to. All right. And then for my brush, of course, I'm going to be using my Omega 10,098. All right. Well known and I know how this one works. So now we are going to just kick it up and we're going to load that brush. All right. Now I've got a couple of views here for you so you can see what's going on. And okay, we're going to, I took out a little too much of that water. We're going to kick up a lather here in this bowl. Okay. And these are identical bowls. They're my uh, Vanderhagen ceramic bowls that uh, you saw actually Wednesday in the shave of the day. Okay, now, there we go. We're starting to get there. Now, basically, I'm just trying to load that brush up. Okay, and... Okay, there we go. And the nice part about this, since there's just a little bit in there, you can really kick up a decent lather. Okay, and now what I will do is I will go ahead and just put my finger around there. We're going to get that out and put it right on the brush. And now we're going to make a lather. Now that we got our brush loaded, we're in good shape. 
And this it really is a, it's got a lemony, citrusy scent, but it is mild and quite pleasant. All right, there we go. Now, let's kick it up. Got to remember to keep turning that brush so we don't lose any soap. All right, there we go. Okay, now there's a nice lather. Okay, next we're going to be using Arco. Let's see how it lathers up. Now, again, I've had that soap blooming. Okay, it has been underwater for and hot water to start with uh, for at least five minutes. Now, I pull, pour that off. We're going to go ahead and put that on as pre shave like normal. Uh, also, uh, both of these are tallow based soaps, okay? That way uh, you know what you're getting. All right, now I'm going to use the same brush, the Omega 10,098, just like normal. And let's load it up. Let's see how it goes. Now, like I, I was saying earlier, the Arco. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more water in this one, too. The Arco is uh, quite a bit softer soap. So, it may load quicker. We'll see. Now, it also has more of a citrusy, uh, kind of industrial soap scent. So, there you go. Yeah. And a lot of people don't necessarily like it. I find it's okay, personally. Um, I don't mind the citrusy scent, and it just, to me, smells clean uh, for the most part. But I know there are people out there that are sensitive to that. So if you are uh, sensitive to that, you might think about the Derby. Both of them are inexpensive soaps that you can uh, get readily on... Uh, uh, either eBay or Amazon, you may be able to find it uh, in your local stores. Don't know, depending on where you are in the world. Okay, all right, so yeah, that's good and sticky. So now I'm gonna go ahead, we're going to get that out of there and put that on again. I just something I normally do, you know, it's good soap, might as well not waste it, in my opinion, but, uh, you know, you can do whatever you want to do, there's no rules, isn't that cool, no rules, and if uh, you don't get a good enough load on your brush, you can always go back and load it up some more in between passes, now, I'm sure I have more than enough, so, I know with the uh, Derby, I had more than enough for three-pass shave. And uh, this one with the Arco, definitely, yes, definitely has a stronger citrusy scent, not nearly as mild. And, yeah, it really comes out, really comes out. So, if uh, you're not a fan, uh, you might try Derby because it is definitely milder.
And as you see, they both are kicking up a beautiful lather. And there you go. Now, there is more than enough soap on there to do a three pass shave, I'm sure. And all you beginners out there, you can go with either one of these and get a great shave. They are both good performers. I think I probably would prefer the Derby uh, just because it's a milder scent, but your mileage may vary, all right? And uh, you click right up here to see the best how-to shave video that you've ever seen. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. You can click right over here to see my latest video. Click down here on the video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.